Major funding for the Magic School Bus is provided by the National Science Foundation, supporting education and research in science, mathematics, and technology. Additional funding is provided by Carnegie Corporation of New York. And the annual financial support of viewers like you. Seatbelts, everyone! Please let this be a normal field trip with a friend. No way! Cruising on down Main Street, you're relaxed and feeling good. Next thing that you know, you see it. Ah! Octopus in the neighborhood, surfing on the sound wave, swinging through the stars. Yeah! Take a lap that you'll be testing. Pick your second life at Mars on the Magic School Bus. Navigator Nostro. Climb on the Magic School Bus. Make a plane turn to. Take that! On our Magic School Bus. Drop the river of lava. On the Magic School Bus. Such a fine thing to do. So strap your bones back to the seat Come on in and don't be shy Come on. Just to make your day complete You might get baked into a pie On the Magic School Bus Step inside, it's a wild ride Come on, ride on the Magic School Bus What feels like a scuzzy glob of mud? What smells like a scuzzy glob of mud? Yuck! And what looks like a scuzzy glob of mud? This swamp! That's what? Yuck! Who needs something smelly and useless when you can have an awesome new mall instead? Tell me! Nobody! Tell me again! Nobody! I'm ready! You convinced me, Carlos. You're gonna win the debate for sure! Yeah, and you didn't even mention all these pesky mosquitoes. Or the fact that it's so wet here where the river flows into the swamp. Face it, this swamp is worthless. Agreed! Whoever you're debating doesn't stand a chance. Unless you have to argue the other side to keep the swamp and put them all somewhere else. Never happened, DA. I haven't lost a coin flip yet. Yes! You know what I just saw? An Argelaeus Phoenicius. Huh? A red-winged blackbird. Isn't that exciting? Uh huh. Oh my! Something wrong, Ms. Frizzle? Oh, on the contrary, Carlos. Things couldn't be more right. That's for sure, Miss Frizzle. And I've got it all on tape, so Carlos can prove what a useless place this swamp is. Careful, Tim! That old tree looks like it could fall down any second! Let's go! I don't want to be late for the debate! Oh, you won't get an argument from me! <laughs> Coming, bus? <laughs> All aboard, class! The Walkerville Town Council is now in session. I'm Mr. Popple, your chairman. Thanks to Ms. Frizzle, the finals of the great debate are being held not only to decide the winner, but to allow the children of Walkerville a voice in our political system. The issue to be debated is, should our new mall be built here, in the swamp across the river, or someplace else. The rules are simple. One side will argue in favor of building the mall in the swamp, and the other side will argue against building the mall in the swamp. Where is the other side? At the conclusion of the debate, the council will vote yay or nay on the motion. Shall we begin? I'm afraid the other side isn't here yet, Mr. Popple. Oh, yes it is! Janice! My cousin never told me she was in the finals! You're the other side? The winning side, you mean? Hi, cuz. <gasps> Excuse me, Mr. Popple, shall I flip a coin? Flip away, Ms. Frizzle! Whoever wins the toss argues in favor of putting them all in the swamp. Is that understood? I'll call it! 
be my guest. Heads or tails, Carlos? Heads, if you say so. Tails. Oh dear. That means I have to argue to keep the swamp. <gasps> That a problem, Carlos? No, no. I, I just need a little more time to prepare. Please. Both sides report back here at one o'clock sharp, ready to argue. How could this happen, Ms. Frizzle? That was the first coin flip I ever lost, and I lost it to Janet. Don't take it so hard, Carlos. As my great great uncle Lincoln Douglas once said, "A good debate is like a pancake. It's got to get cooked on both sides." What is she talking about? Well, I'm the one who's cooked. How can I come up with any good reasons to keep the swamp and put them all someplace else? Well, what about these? At least they're pretty. Ah, yes, one of my favorites, the marshmallow plant. As in marshmallows? According to my muskrat's guide to the swamp, the marshmallow plant only grows in wet places. And its roots are sometimes used to make a sweet syrup and marshmallows. And what do you get when you cover marshmallows with chocolate? Marshmallow blasters! Yum! That's a good enough reason for me. Clock. I've got one hour to come up with a good argument why the mall shouldn't be built here, and all I've got is a plant. What about mallow blasters? Arnold, Janet is sure to argue that the world supply of mallow blasters does not depend on the smelly swamp. Wanda's right. From where I stand, I can't see one good reason to put the mall somewhere else. Well, perhaps if you stood over there, you might see things from a different point of view. Over here, a little more. That's perfect, Carlos. A new view of the swamp is coming to you. Hit it, Liz. <laughs> Still don't see any good reason to keep this swamp. Uh oh! Get me out of here! <gasps> two by two, please, class. Where are you guys going? Oh wait, we're being chased by a, a by a giant muskrat! No, you're not. It's over there. It's not chasing anything. It's just building itself a new home. Whoa! Smile, Carlos. I think we've been frizzled. Oh no, not again! Is it just me, or does that bird look hungry? According to my research, that was a marsh hawk. According to my research, that was a close one. But we're safe in here. Whoa! What a great place to build a nest and raise your kids, out of sight and off the menu. Let's go before we scare them. It's amazing. I never realized so many creatures lived in this swamp. Look out! He's gonna get us! Whoa! Did you guys see that? The frog just zapped the mosquito right out of the air. Yeah, you don't want to be on the wrong end of the food chain around here. That's for sure. Duck! Why? Is it that marsh hawk again? No, ducks. But they don't look like the ducks we see all the time at Walkerville Pond. That's because these are wood ducks. Was it something we said? Let's see. 
It's just lunchtime, that's all. It says in my book that wood ducks eat mosquito larvae. Ew! Wood ducks nest in trees at the edge of swamps and use the swamp to raise their families. So they need the swamp to survive, right? You got it, Carlos. Got anything else? Yeah, we've got frogs and muskrat. And red-winged blackbirds? And marshmallow plants. And good places to hide. But if swamps weren't here, the mosquitoes and dragonflies wouldn't be here either. Yeah, but that means the wood ducks and frogs would go hungry. For them, you might even say that living in a swamp is habit forming. <laughs> That's it, Miss Frizzle. The swamp is a habitat. A place where many plants and animals find food and shelter to survive. And some can't live anywhere else. Well, if you ask me, it's much too wet. Look at all this oily stuff that washed in from the river. What's gonna happen to it now? Excellent question, Ralphie. As they say in the swamp, here's mud in your eye. <laughs> Welcome to the SS Mega Magnifier. All aboard! Wow, this is cool! I never knew the bus could do this. But, Miss Frizzle, shouldn't we get back for the debate? I think I'm ready now. You are? I'm not sure about that, Carlos. You need more facts. So the swamp's a habitat. I get the feeling that's not enough of a reason to build them all somewhere else. Keisha's right. Janet will say that it's still smelly. Hey, wait. Look at this. The swamp is actually cleaning the dirty water that flows through it. Strange but true. The swamp plants are straining gunk out of the water. The swamp helps clean the water. Beautiful! Huh, I guess there's more to the swamp than meets the eye. Ah, oh, too true, Carlos. There's always something new in the goo. The sweet smell of swamp gas. Ew! Put it down, that Miss Frizzle! Thanks! Ew! Get it away! Gas is right, Miss Frizzle. As a matter of fact, it smells like somebody just. Arnold! Maybe Arnold's right. Look at all these bubbles. What's going on down there? Yeah, what's making those bubbles? Time to go to Mega Mega Magnifier, Liz. What a gas! Carlos! What are those things? And what are they doing? They're bacteria in their own cafeteria, Dorothy Ann. And today's specials include rotting plants, fertilizer, and yes, even globs of oil. Mm -mm. It's the Micro Gang! The guys we saw turning my cucumber into a pickle. They're too small to see with the naked eye but they make really big changes. It looks like when they finish eating the oil, out comes the gas. So what happens to the water once the bacteria have eaten up all the yuck? Ahoy, mates! Waterworks dead ahead! Now I see. Look! The water goes through the wetland, then back into the river. And then into the waterworks. So wouldn't the waterworks have to work a lot harder to clean the river water if the swamp didn't clean it first? Boingo, Dorothy Ann. Another reason to keep the swamp. I'm really ready now, Miss Frizzle. Ooh, that's great, because it's time to reinstate the big debate. The swamp is much more than water and mud and plants. It's a wetland, a natural habitat filled with lots and lots of life. It's a giant market where birds and animals feed themselves. It's where they find shelter. Take away the swamp to build a mall and you take away the habitat. When winter ends, the songs of birds will be missing. 
the cheerful ribbit of a frog on a warm evening will be gone. Sadly, it will be a silent spring in Walkerville. Oh, why, Carlos, that was beautiful. Point of order, Mr. Popple. I'm afraid Janet's correct, Miss Frizzle. You are out of order. Please try to keep your remarks to yourself. Go on, Carlos. Um, well, there's one other thing you should know. All the different plants help to filter out stuff, like oil and gunk, and teeny tiny swamp bacteria help clean up the water before it gets to the waterworks. If it weren't for the swamp, the water would look like this, instead of like this. So when making your decision, remember, the Walkerville wetland is the best land. Not for the mall, but for the animals and plants which live there. And for all of us who drink water from the waterworks. Your rebuttal, Janet? Nice try, sport. This won't take long, Mr. Popple. First of all, where we now have a stinky swamp, we're going to have a totally colossal new mall. Five movie theaters, an ice skating rink, an amusement park, and every kind of restaurant a person could want. Why would you vote against that? Why? Because our swamp is a habitat? Come on, move the critters someplace else. Besides, it stinks. I knew she'd say that. Keep the swamp because it filters out oil and gunk? Give me a break. So does the waterworks. You said so yourself. I say up with the mall and down with the swamp. End of debate. But the wood duck can't live any place but the swamp. You're out of order, young lady. The marshmallow plant can't live anywhere but the wetland either. You're out of order too. Sit down. And the smell is from all the bacteria which are cleaning the water. You're all out of order. Sit down. Sorry, class, but we do have to obey the rules of the debate. Your smelly swamp is history. It's time now to consider all the arguments. We'll be back in five minutes with our decision. Why do I have the feeling I should have stayed home today? Same reason I have the feeling we've lost. And not just the debate, either. just a debate, Miss Frizzle. Janet's wrong. This isn't just a smelly old swamp. It's a wetland, and it's important. I didn't think so at first, but I do now. We can't let them put them all there. What's the matter, Carlos? Afraid you're gonna lose? By putting them all where the wetland is, Walkerville will be the loser. Oh, yeah? Prove it. Yes, Liz? What is it? What are you trying to say? Water? What about water? It's raining! You're thirsty! Y you're drowning? Okay, what you're trying to tell us sounds like... Dirt! Sounds like dirt! Dirty! Um, uh, messy! Yucky! Mud? Sounds like mud? It's overflowing. But it's rained hard before and nothing's happened. In fact, today extra water coming from the river ran right into the wetland and took me with it. Remember? So what's stopping that from happening now? 
What indeed? To the bus. Janet, where are you going? No way you're going to find out something important without me. Look, that big old tree fell down. It's stopping the flood water from draining into the swamp. We've got to get that tree out of there quick before the whole town gets washed away. Hang on to your socks, class. We're going down. This tree is too heavy for us to move. At my old school, we used a bulldozer to move heavy things. That's great, Phoebe. And where are we supposed to get a bulldozer? No problem, Janet. You ought to know by now that when push comes to shove, we've got it covered. Right, Ms. Frizzle? We do indeed, Arnold. We do indeed. Woohoo! Hit it, Liz. giant sponge! As my third cousin, Al G, always says, nothing like a swamp to slow the flow of H2O. Tell me this isn't happening! Tell me! It isn't happening! It isn't? Nope. The water level's dropping! The town is saved! All clear, Mr. Popple. The flood's a dud. And you can thank the Walkerville wetland for stopping it. But how? Because the wetland is a natural flood control. It's a place for extra water from the river to go and spread out. I hate to admit it, but he's right. Mr. Popple, if a shopping mall had stood where the swamp is now, our great little town would have been wiped out. I, uh, I see that now. Not only does a wetland control floods, it provides a habitat for living things that can't live anyplace else. And it helps to clean up our water supply. I say build them all! What? Just build it someplace other than the wetland. Isn't she out of order? She is, but she's right. All in favor of keeping the wetland where it is and building the mall someplace else signify by saying, yay. Yay! Yay! As I always say, the wetland is the best land. Is this the magic school bus? Is this the magic school bus? Magic school bus. 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 Magic School Bus producer here. Kid here. I've got a flood of questions. Okay, swamp me. <laughs> Is that place called a swamp or a wetland? In the show, you called it both. Actually, it is both. A swamp, a marsh, a bog, any low-lying place that is wet at least part of the year is called a wetland. And what about all that yuck floating around? Surely it's not okay to deliberately dump oily water and gunk in a wetland because the wetland helps to get rid of it. Good point. It's never okay to pollute. And don't call me Shirley. You already use that line in your spider show. Now about the floods. Floods don't usually happen as quickly as you showed. Water takes time to build up. Are you trying to kid us or something? Look, if there's one thing I've learned, you can't kid a kid. Since we only had 30 minutes, we sped the whole thing up. And does the wetland really help clean the water supply? See for yourself. Just take a glass of water, add some dirt, and stir it around with a spoon. The stirring motion is like the current stirring up the mud in the river. Then pour the muddy water into a glass baking dish 
And that's your wetland. A dish of muddy water. Almost. Let it sit for about an hour. And you'll see how all the heavy mud has settled to the bottom. And the water on top is a lot cleaner. And that's one way a wetland works to clean things up. But even though it's cleaner, you shouldn't drink the water. It hasn't gone through the waterworks, so it isn't safe for human or lizard consumption. Thanks for calling, and remember... I know! The, the wetland, wetland is, is the, the best, best land! land. Drop your bones right to the sea Come on in and don't be shy Just to make your day complete You might get baked into a pie On the magic scuba Step inside, it's a wild ride Come on, right on the magic scuba Major funding for the magic school bus is provided by the National Science Foundation, supporting education and research in science, mathematics, and technology. Additional funding is provided by Carnegie Corporation of New York. And the annual financial support of viewers like you. Visit your local library and read more about science in the Magic School Bus and other science books. My friend wants to be a baseball star when she grows up. Me, I'm going to be the maker of the world's best baseball bats. First, I search the planet for the world's most exotic wood. I make palm tree bats to confuse the fielders. Super long redwood bats for those outside pitches. Even bats with knot holes. The teams we didn't like. And after the World Series, a big ticker tape parade will be held just for the bats. Thanks to me, Tim Makora, Bat Builder. He started at the same time. When um, the lady asked me to come over, I didn't really want to until my mom and dad forced me to. Sometimes he likes it, sometimes he doesn't like to. For men, so we have more athletic stuff that we do. This is the graceful kind of stuff that girls do. It's actually pretty fun being on stage and performing in front of people. It's like you're famous or something. My friend wants to be a doctor when she grows up. Me, I'm still making up my mind. Maybe I'll be the person who changes the bulbs in the lighthouses. I know, I'll run this super recycling business with this helicopter and a huge magnet. Well, whatever I do, I'm going to make it big. I'm already on my way. I got this awesome bug collection. And I got an...